In this video, we're going to take a brief look at working with motion blur settings in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using Limo 02.c4d. And this scene consists of an animation. I'm using the uh, Octane camera that I added to the scene, and I've animated it. And I have some simple keyframe motion on Little Robot, who's zooming up to the pilot to greet him. And you can see here it is in the live viewer. I scroll back and forth, you can see the animation update. At the moment, there is no motion blur on the scene. So to add motion blur, we need to go to the camera and add a tag, which I've already done. So C4D Octane camera tag. And in the uh, camera tag, we have a section called motion blur. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is enable it. Once it's enabled, we can start to increase this shutter uh, setting and you can see the higher the setting the more exaggerated the blur is so this is a little bit out of control But it makes it fairly obvious if you adjust this and nothing's happening try refreshing the render of your scene Just to make sure it updates correctly So we can add a little bit of motion blur you can see that we're getting blurring on the spaceship because the camera is Moving as well as the robot who is also moving if we just want motion blur on the robot and not the camera, we can turn on disable camera motion blur. And I'll refresh the scene. And now you can see he's blurred, but the spaceship is not. The time shift in seconds is generally something you don't need to adjust for most scenes, but it's going to offset the blurring and the object for the current frame. You can see I haven't moved the frame in the timeline at all, but as I move the time shift, you can see the robot is moving back and forth. So usually that's not necessary to change, but there might be some situations in which you need to use that to correct for something. The shutter alignment determines where the blurring happens. So if you can imagine motion blur is caused when a fast moving object moves in front of a camera while the camera aperture is opening and closing again for each frame of the animation. So this basically means that the blurring happens before the aperture is fully opened. This means it's happening after the aperture is fully open and centered means it's happening both before and after. So it's kind of like a style of motion blur. So if I set it to center and increase the shutter speed, let's redo the, the refresh to render here uh, just to make sure that it's correct. So you can see that now the blurring is happening both before, you know, the, the robot is in the center and we see blur before and after the robot. So it's just the style of motion blur that you want to use for your particular scene. If you look at the object tag applied to the barbot, so this right here, there is a motion blur section as well. And we have different ways to apply the motion blur. We can disable it for the object altogether. Uh, in this case, since I've just animated the transforms on the robot, so the translation and rotation, then transform is most appropriate. For deformed objects, you want to use transform slash vertex, and vertex speed is reserved for things like fluid simulation. So there's a fairly lengthy explanation of how to use those settings in the uh, help guide. So if you take a look, They have a nice tutorial here under Octane Camera Tag Motion Blur. They have a really good uh, explanation as well as a brief tutorial on how to use the more advanced settings. So I recommend taking a look at that. But that's basically how you set up Motion Blur in Octane for Cinema 4D.